Trudeau and the Liberals look to pimp his palace. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Have you heard the latest about Justin Trudeau or the plans for Justin Trudeau's official residence? Yes, the National Capital Commission has new plans to renovate 24 Sussex Drive and it could cost you hundreds of millions of dollars. I wish I was joking. You'll remember when Trudeau was sworn in, he said he and his family wouldn't move into 24 Sussex because, well, it was in need of repairs. Previous prime ministers from Stephen Harper to Paul Martin, Jean Chrétien, had all said no, they weren't going to move out and they weren't going to allow the repairs to go on. Why? Because they know, they knew, what Justin Trudeau and the public now knows. That if they allowed the bureaucrats to have their way, it was going to cost Canadian taxpayers dearly. And those prime ministers weren't willing to wear that. Justin Trudeau has an option to say yay or nay to these proposals, and if he doesn't, he's going to wear it. Right now, there is one proposal that is apparently heavily favored that would cost $38 million. But according to PMO sources, it could they've seen proposals that could range up to $250 million. During the Harper years, bureaucrats even dreamed up one scheme that would raise the price up to $560 million. Why? Because they'd no longer want 24 Sussex Drive to be just the official residence of the Prime Minister. They want it to be the White House North. They want this to be a place for state dinners, even though our Prime Minister, regardless of who it is, is not the head of state. They want this to be a, a working office space. They want the staff to move away from Parliament, where they're currently housed, to 24 Sussex Drive. It's not the way our system works, not at all. It would actually be an affront to our system. But this is what happens when you let bureaucrats run amok. Plans for a $55 million uh, underground parking garage, plans for a situation room, plans for office space, and a new 7,000 square foot home. That's right. One of the plans includes knocking down the pool house built in, I believe, 1975 for Pierre Trudeau at a cost of $200,000 and putting up a 7,000 square foot home. The Prime Minister and his family would live in that home along with nannies and other support staff, while the main house, the one that dates back to the 1860s, the so-called Heritage House, that would be turned into a place for offices and state banquets. Again, it's ridiculous. It's being described as a heritage building and that's why the cost is going to go up, but it would be wrong to call it a heritage building. Yes, it dates to the 1860s, but that's the outside. The building was actually taken over by the Liberal cabinet in the middle of World War II. By decree, they expropriated the building and the land for their own purposes. Then it sat vacant until 1951 when they moved Louis Saint Laurent in. You know what they did in between? They ripped out all of the heritage touches. They stripped it down and made it modern for a 1951 era prime minister. It's had so many renovations since on the inside that it can hardly be described as heritage on the inside. These are pipe dreams from bureaucrats that are driving up the cost, the very type of dreams that kept Stephen Harper, Jean Chrétien, and Paul Martin up at night and saying, I ain't moving out. Well, Justin Trudeau has moved out, and he's going to have a say in what the NCC actually does with this house. He'll have a say in whether they go ahead with the crazy plans or go more modest, even at $38 million, for which is the preferred plan at the moment, we're told, it is ridiculous. There's not a single house for sale in the Ottawa market above $5 million, and some of the ones that are between 2 and $4 million, they are absolute palaces. So there's no reason that it would have to cost $38 million to retrofit a prime minister's house. I'm not going to say that he shouldn't have a nice house. I'm not saying there shouldn't be security measures put in place or certain structural uh, renovations made, but $38 million? This is where Justin Trudeau can and should show leadership. He should tell the bureaucrats that he's looking after taxpayers' dollars and that they need to do the same. The question is, will he? He's got a shot at leadership. Let's hope he does, doesn't fall back on the experts and his own desire to have a pimped out palace. If you like what you just saw, make sure you never miss another Rebel video again. Just click down here, you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can head on over to the rebel.media and become a member and get access to premium content only members can look at.